How you doing? I guess we're back. I'm Jeffrey Phipps. You know, I had a little meeting with Joe. I think it was at McDonald's. He bought coffee. But uh, we discussed what we're going to do the seat, and Joe wanted to do just plain black leather. And you know me, I can't do just plain black leather. We're going to do a little design here. kind of mimics the paint job that's going to be on the bike. We're going to actually tool the design into the seat. We're going to trace the whole thing onto the leather, and then we're going to cut it out. As you see, it transfers and lightly puts just a, a line in the leather. level of concentration is amazing. You can cut the tension with a knife. The crowd is quiet. Now we can begin the tooling. Tooling is where we take one of these many leather working tools that we have and uh, hammer down the edge of the leather and it gives it a 3D effect and uh, looks pretty good. My dog is eating the cameraman's tripod. He's bored, he's had enough. The sun's gone down but we labor on, that's what we do. <laughs> I'm never happy with everything I do, so I end up working late into the night and doing the same job a couple times. This was the first one I did. I had too much coffee and I wasn't happy with my line cutting ability. This is the second one. I started to put a basket weave design in the middle, but after I started it, I didn't like the design I picked out. This is the third try. However, in the middle of doing this job, I decided my dyeing process needed to be reversed. We're on to our, our fourth try for this very simple but cool seat. These are a couple of seats that we've done in the past. This is a little bobber seat that we make. This one's upholstered in uh, the tooling leather in the center. It has uh, crocodile tails on each side. You actually have to use two tails to get it. Pretty cool looking seat. I think it's one of my favorites. We're gonna finish the basket weave design and uh, we'll get it all cut out. Okay. Okay. So there's our seat. I think it came out pretty good. Joe told me to do something simple. Don't go overboard. I never go overboard.